So now we're gonna go over the deep gastrointestinal system. Um, we're gonna start with the stomach. So there are multiple sections to the stomach. We have the cardiac section, which is very uh, close to the top um, up here, right next to where the esophagus feeds into the stomach. We have the fundus here. This section of the stomach is called the body. And then we have the pyloric section of the stomach. Uh, we have the greater curvature, which is this curvature on the outside. And then um, on the inside, the lesser curvature. Um, the last uh, feature you're responsible to know for this area is the pyloric sphincter, which you cannot see, but it is the muscle that controls movement from the pyloric section of the stomach to the duodenum. So it'll be right about here. Um, next we have the lesser omentum, which is the ligamentous tissue that connects the stomach to the liver. So that's this, it's a little bit torn, but that's this um, thin tissue here. And then we have the mesogastric, which is back here, and it's just the connective tissue that connects the, um, the stomach to the abdominal wall. Okay, moving on to the small intestine. Um, we have the very top section, which is the duodenum, which is all up here. Um, there's a slight, uh, well, a significant uh, curve here which separates the duodenum from the jejunum, which is the majority of what you'd be familiar with as the small intestine. And then you have the ileum, which is the final section of the small intestine. Um, and that's this area here uh, before it runs into the large intestine. Um, in this section, we have the mesentery proper, which is this very thin um, connective tissue here. Give it a little bit better of a, a view. Um, so the very thin, almost uh, see-through tissue is the mesentery proper. And then you have the um, cisterna chyla which is uh, this thicker tissue in the center here and it kind of branches out. That's the cisterna chyla. And then finally, you have your mesoduodenum, which is um, the tissue, if you come around this side, that connects um, the duodenum to the abdominal wall right here. Okay. Um, next, we are gonna just move on to the um, large intestine. So we're going to start at the top with the ileocecal sphincter. Um, that is not something that you can necessarily see, but you're responsible to know that it's the muscle that controls movement from the ileum um, into the large intestine, or the cecum of the large intestine, which is this little um, kind of round uh, shape here. Next you have the ascending colon, which is here the transverse colon, which comes across, the descending colon, which is a little bit closer to the top, the sigmoid colon, which usually lays kind of like this, forms like an S shape, and then the rectum, which is all the way down at the bottom. Um, you also have in this section the mesocolon, which is again the ligamentous tissue that connects, or the, uh, the just the tissue that connects the um, abdominal wall to the large intestine. And then lastly, we're gonna move back up to discuss the pancreas. Um, there are two sections of the pancreas. You have the duodenal um, pancreas, AKA the dorsal pancreas here, which just kind of um, is very close to the duodenum of the small intestine, but there is a significant change in the, in the texture of the tissue. And then you have the splenic pancreas, which is kind of hidden in the greater omentum. Um, but that's this tissue right here. And that's also called the ventral pancreas. So just know that this, uh, these are a little bit difficult to find, but if you just make sure that you check and make sure the consistency is different, it's, it's pretty easy to distinguish between uh, greater omentum and, and pancreatic tissue. Um, and that, that's it. Cool, thank you.